Oh, this is it. Keep it down. Thanks, Jesse Rocks. Go ahead. I don't give a fuck what you do. Last night, you might recognize this little friend here. It was from the Resident Evil 2 trailer. And thanks. I appreciate it. Folks from Capcom, right here and right now. Turn it up. A live gameplay demo. Let's check it out, gentlemen. Welcome. Woo! Thank you so much, man. Thanks for having us. This, that was an epic announcement last night at the showcase. And I mean, uh, how long have you guys kind of been guarding this secret? I mean, so we actually, like, we're teasing that this title is going to be in development about three years ago, August 2015. Yeah. Um, but literally when we showed that off, it was a PowerPoint presentation, a stack of papers. That's literally what the game was. So it did take us some time, but we're finally here. And super happy to have it here at PlayStation. So. Well, I'm a huge personal fan of the Resident Evil series. Um, I played all of Resident Evil 7 in VR nice. for hours at a time. It was a ton of fun. And Resident Evil 2 is also a favorite of mine in the series. It's the uh, only game that ever got Damn, Day 9's everywhere at E3. Uh, because I wanted <laughs> day to Day 9's doing day all one. the interviews. So I actually left school and went to the local uh, retailer to pick it up. But uh, I can't advise that. Uh, <laughs> but I say we get right to gameplay because I know this is a big deal. I'm really excited to see what you guys are up to. For sure. Check it out. All right. right. Yeah. We're going to have our, go. our producer, Yoshi, <laughs> <Yoshi, laughs> <Yoshi, laughs> with us today. Hi. Thank you for coming. Nice to meet so you guys. So let's jump right in. Funny English. All right. Okay. Firing up Resident Evil 2 here. Got quite a crowd here at the PlayStation E3 booth. So here you can oh. see, again, so uh, Resident Evil 2 is very near and dear to tons of people's hearts. And just this 30 FPS. The Raccoon City Police Department, like the huge open foyer, like... Like tons Whoa. of soldiers just like hit you. It's pretty crazy. Like the the menu, the inventory exactly looked like RE7, like, and so do all the prompts. That's kind of intentional because the prompts and shit look like RE7. A remake. It's a whole new game that we're building off of the foundation that the original game had built. So there's going to be a lot of familiar stuff, but there's going to be a lot of new stuff as well. So. Oh, that's, that's how you got it, yeah. right? I mean, it's been that is years, so cool. Yeah. This game alone, 20 years. Retro, <laughs> retro-looking <laughs> computer. I feel old yeah, I know. That. that makes me feel a little old. <laughs> So did you actually go back and rewatch the original and then like frame by frame? Man, this guy's like a scrub. What you to keep in and what you wanted to update? De definitely, yeah. Some of them were like, are, are pretty faithful to the originals, but something like this back in the day on PlayStation, oh, but it was a... Uh, oh, the map! It's not quite the level of PS4 or PS4 Pro just yet. A lot of the movements, characters jumping around, fully voiced up. Uh, it's a little bit more crude, but definitely classic. But some stuff is new, but uh, some of the originals are there as well. So a big change here is the fact that we're really playing the game. We're Leon Kennedy. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I think of Leon Kennedy, I think of Resident Evil 2, but I also think of Resident Evil 4. Yes. And you guys have opted for more of a Resident Evil 4 <laughs> approach to the, uh, just the, uh, the controls. So yep. tell, tell me a little bit about that. Definitely. So the over-the-shoulder thing, we know it's uh, the original game with the fixed camera in the corner. Um, that's very, again, near and dear to people's hearts. But with the over-the-shoulder camera, we're, again, we're building a new game. This isn't a remake of the original. It is a full new game that we're not really a push. remake the of the of original the shoulder the pinpoint accuracy of really trying to take down zombies it felt better for this experience so that's where we went through so but the big difference is the uh uh it's less uh, shooter uh elements compared to the uh resident evil 4. Mm -hmm. this is more you know like metrovania style uh survivor horror you know classic gameplay Mitch, so we actually try to keep the, style? Uh, the original you know gameplay feel the gameplay uh from you know, the original <laughs> So that's kind of you know, what we're uh, trying to nice. do uh, in this uh, new Resident Evil 2 as well. The lighting feels very similar too. Yes. Yep. Yeah, definitely one of the things, like, <laughs> so to, to make it, like, you know, people always see the over the shoulder oh. first person think of just like, you know, they're going to be running out the walls and doing backflips and things like that. It is definitely not like that at all. The zombies in this game are, they are tough. And not, not just like, you know, if you see one or two or three, like, I got to look out. If you see one in a hallway and you can't get by him, like you have to this, you fear for your life type thing because you're probably gonna die. So you've really gotta be careful with your ammo. And to confirm, these are zombies a la Resident Evil 2, yes. not Lost Plaga. So these are these are your T virus zombies. Right, right. Had to, just had to settle yeah. that one. <laughs> oh shit. So Leon here is trying to save one of the uh, fellow RPD officers. Uh, it's not looking good. Oh. So. Oh. <laughs> that didn't go very well. Yikes. Now, we know there's going to be some familiar faces in this as well. It's characters that we've seen in other games. We saw that in the uh, showcase asset mm -hmm. just last night. But uh, tell me oh. a little bit about the approach to that. Definitely. So we've got, of course, like, not only do we have Leon. Leon is his own Lighter? Campaign. We also wanted to bring, like, uh, Claire Redfield. 
Oh, so a she's not playable in this book. demo, but she as well is going to get her full playable campaign too. Awesome. So, um, the rest of the characters are kind of, uh, we haven't really confirmed too much yet, so I advise right. you to go back and watch the trailer. You can try to kind of make some good guesses nice like based on those, but uh, <laughs> we'll leave it to you guys <laughs> Awesome. This is cool. Wow, yeah, this looks intense. so cool. So we're getting into here. So this every looks time a zombie bites you, so you really cool. feel like you get that over-the-shoulder perspective. Really helps because you get to see the zombies. You really feel wow. them kind of like bite to your neck, just like that. Yeah. It kind of disorients you too when you get that. So you're spun around. It's it like evil with a real it. sense of like, oh crap, what's going on? A zombie is actually attacking me. Wow, the combat this seems pretty in interesting. The end game. I've seen it on Resident Evil Seven, right? It right. is. This is actually the the RE engine. So the same game that powered RE Seven is actually going to be running this game too as well. H, are you okay? You gonna do this? Don't yeah, 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 yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> gonna bro. die. <laughs> talking shit. So again, like they are no joke. Oh like, damn, get, Toiler is overflowing. It's, it's, you're almost done. So. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Look at this, you know, like restroom. We added the restroom. Yeah, oh, so in the RPD. Really, uh, in the PS1 game, it was one of those ones. It's limitations yeah. back in the day, but there were actually no restrooms <laughs> in the original. Uh, limitations? Uh, that's a good point, yeah, actually. Right? Limitations? Demo, we wanted to make sure that we had a, uh, a fully functioning bathroom. We put a little treat inside there for you. Uh, first aid PS1 spray. couldn't I handle bathrooms. Box, uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> I noticed Excuse you just picked me. up some first aid spray before. A lot of what I love about survival horror games is the limited supplies. You really have to like think things through. Is that an element that you guys are working with? Yeah, those are the those are sort of like yeah. the emergency last minute things. But again, like it is it is really survival horror to its fullest. Like you're gonna need to conserve those. As you can see in his inventory there, he only had a handful of bullets. So if you're run out of bullets, Damn. there's no like. We did add certain things like. You Damn, know, big booty ho. Damn, big booty ho zombies. More, but. If you're out, you're pretty much going to be out. So, really wanted to drive home the survival aspect of this game. Is there a, a knife? Is, is that included? There is. So, a little bit later, if we get far enough, we will show you the knife. It functions okay. a way similar this to when we did the original crazy. Uh, Resident Evil 1 remake. So, instead of just being something that you use, damn, you Carl Winslow? Keep guys at bay, but these guys are iron Low. clad, and it's generally <laughs> probably you. not the best idea. Yeah. If you do get grappled, wow, look how dark you get a chance it is. to uh, use it as sort of an emergency weapon to get rid of that zombie Got and it. get them off you. Cool. But if it's still, it does have a, a little bit of durability as well. So it. if it's still durable enough, you can actually pick the knife off, off the zombies that you just killed, get a little bit more out of it too. So interesting. What other sort of mechanical tweaks and changes have you are you guys implementing here that uh, longtime fans might notice? Oh shit! So definitely, Kanasan, you want to take this one? Well, yeah. So the uh, gameplay mechanics. So since uh, we actually feature uh, now, you know, over the uh, shoulder camera view. So the um, we actually um, trying to uh, uh, put like more kind of like uh, intense uh, combat, you know, feel uh, yeah. against the uh, zombies. So uh, and also the, uh, the way you know like Leon is actually you know shooting is kind of like more like natural uh, feel more close to the uh, like Resident Evil Seven kind of combat style. Mm. Yeah. There is some Calm stuff down. a little bit later in the demo too where uh, it wasn't present in the original game where it's a little bit it kind of uh, Again, pushing that survival aspect of the game. You can find like wooden boards to board up windows oh, to cool. choose whether you want to board up that one. If that zombie is a really problem for you, um, otherwise you can save it later in case something else comes up. But it really is about that choice of how do you want to play. <laughs> that is cool. Thank you. That's something I've always wanted to see in more like zombie games. It's right. Just, you know, uh, fortify. Yeah. yeah what fortify I mean. stuff. Because that's like the first thing you're gonna do, right? If you were in a real zombie. Fortify. Yeah. Yeah. And you're you know, obviously, Sid and I are, are, are big Resident Evil fans. But for those out there that maybe haven't you know, approach the franchise before or something, do you feel like this is a good title to start with? Mm -hmm. Definitely, mm -hmm. I mean, this, mm -hmm. this is almost the, gen like Resident Evil 2 is obviously the second game in the franchise, but really is sort of the genesis of where a lot of the groundswell around the brand came up. So again, if, if you haven't played this title before, the story is about Raccoon City is a Midwestern town, a mysterious outbreak hits, zombies are everywhere. It's Leon, the guy with the RPG vest that? on here. It's his first day on the job a as knife? a cop, and he's basically coming to work and what happened? There's zombies <laughs> everywhere. He's finding his com comrades are basically going through hell. Um, and Claire Redfield, who is the other character in the game, she's a college student. She's looking for her brother Chris, who works in the special forces. Looks like a knife. Um, and they basically fates intersect, and you'll be able to sort of see each other's perspectives throughout the game. So, so now he's got the uh, uh, combat knife. Oh, am yes. I zoomed so, uh, in? Here we have our knife. Yeah. <laughs> that we get from. Oh, I'm zoomed yes. in. <laughs> that sucks for you guys. My bad. <laughs> there you go, kind of like the classic slash. <laughs> Using the knife always reminds me of back in the day. Bummer. Like you My bad. Rounds inside the zombie, and oh. then like, just to make sure 
get a couple slashes on the ground. Because <laughs> half the time they'll come up and just like grab you as you walk by. <laughs> so again, a lot of these rooms, especially this one too, it's like that door necessarily wasn't I'm there. I'm busy game, enjoying it. It wasn't too, zoomed in for me. Get good news. <gasps> Did you see the green the herb? You might remember it too. If you turn this corner in the original game, you might have remembered something crawling by that window. Uh, that's it's not there anymore, but it takes a lot of different forms later. So again, we want to keep people. Spoiler alert! We expected that there. But we're going to move it because we don't want you to know everything that's going on. Yeah, you can't up. have the dogs jumping out of the same window. Yeah. Right? I, Ari's all about jumping. Wrong game. And people off their seats. So, like, yeah. if they know everything that's coming, that's no fun. Now, I, I don't want you to spoil anything here, but, you know, I've played Resident Evil 2 quite a few times. Um, is there the same general sort of arc to the experience? Or there is. So, I'd say that the Whoa. story on the whole. Here's a, a great shot of oh, wow. Wow, the Ari Engine's uh, proudest work here. Uh, pretty nasty. Crazy. Yeah, so the story as a whole, like, in general, you'll see a lot of the cool. same things be happening, but again, it's, it's not exactly the same. So you'll see, you know, characters that you might have just, like, Damn. talked with very briefly. You can get a little bit this more is Resident Evil. I can't believe this is Resident Evil. You're going to get a chance to go in there and play a little <laughs> I can't play, believe so. this is Resident Evil. And you had mentioned Claire will be a playable character. Will that sort of cross over, sort of, they had some the ability to sort of interact with each other's storyline a little bit in the original game. Right, from time to time. So it's, it's going to be slightly different because back in the day it was a, we call oh it a zapping boy. system. You could play A and B scenarios, <laughs> but we wanted to have Thank each you. character have their own separate campaign. They certainly will be crossing over, but it's going to be, uh, you know, updated, modified for this new version of the game too. So. Huh. Awesome. It's looking great, guys. Man, it looks so good. I'd love to sit here actually and do this for about another 15 or 20 minutes, but... Uh, <laughs> I think we actually got to get going, wow. okay. um, which is a super bummer because it looks just awesome. <laughs> and this is one of my. Well, let's, get, let's, get, let's get this guy. Let's get, let's get him. First. He just wants some snacks, you know. Right. <laughs> He's feeling. Just leave him be. That's fine too. Yeah. Leave right. him do his stuff. Wow. So, Very reluctantly. Oh um, man. I will have so to bid cool. You farewell. Thank Show you the so game, much. dude. I don't want to see day nine. Right? I'm gonna yes, see him right. when he's uh, commentating. Next yes. Uh, yes. Please look forward to that. Only a couple short months away. I don't know. We do have this game playable at our capital. What is he commenting? Actually, one thing I wanted to mention. Couldn't even make a joke. It's Sorry, kind of a, a <laughs> I aborted. Our, you know, announcement trailer. I ran out it's of gas. From, like, right view. So the, the one we showed at, at PlayStation uh, Showcase is actually, you know, it's slightly different from the one uploaded uh, on YouTube. Oh. So, you know, people actually, you know, if you guys are not, you haven't seen both versions, please, you know. Uh, you yeah. know. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for coming. You know the rest. Resident Evil 2 coming to PS4 in January. The rest of what coming I'm trying to next, say, you know. We have Trover Saves the Universe. That's the new PlayStation VR game from Justin Broyland. Oh, and man. And Excitement. Sorry it was zoomed in half the time, but, you know, whatever. You know. You know. Uh, could you link me to that YouTube video that I hadn't watched yet? Uh, anyway, Jesse Rocks, thanks very much, dude. That's very nice of you. Do whatever you want, dude. See you at Evo. Um, Novi September. And Big Z. And LP Venom SF. And also Reluctant Kitty. Thanks, guys. All right. Let me click this shit. There's only one? There must be tons, right? This is a seven minute video. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Come on, dude. What is this, Sega Genesis? I'm not trying to watch some cell phone shit. I'm going to be taking this in two days. Thank you. I ain't trying to watch some cell phone. Damn. What's this music? Oh, fucking someone knocked over the camera. Somebody banned that guy that linked me to this shit. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Are you Thank serious? You. Dub step and the camera's off center? Oh, wait, that's this. All right, good. I was about to really shoot you. I had the other Where stream still open. This shit was about Here's to get hyped. <laughs>